In this last video on the bar chart problem, we're going to start by coding the body of the chart function. We're very quickly going to run into the natural helper in the template, and that's going to force us to split the chart function into two functions. But don't worry, we're not going to lose all that work we did on the examples. Okay, so let's see, I've got the signature, I've got the purpose, I've got the stub, I've got the examples, it's time to write the function, the actual function definition. So let me go get the template, because this function consumes list of school. I'll comment out the stub. Now let's see, I copy down the template, I rename the function, and I rename the natural recursion. Okay, I'll start with the base case. Well, what happens in the base case? What happens when the list is empty? Well, what happens when the list is empty is just this thing right here. It's just this. In fact, you're allowed to copy from the examples to the function, not the other way around. So we'll put that right there so we don't type it. Now, remember the thing I showed you earlier this week. I can actually test this now and Tests are going to fail. Tests are going to fail, but the first test that failed is actually the second one. The base case test has now run properly. It's not too surprising because the base case of this function wasn't very complicated. But the base case is running. Now what do we do here? Well, let's look at this. For a case where there's a school, where there's one school or maybe and then some rest of the list, Here's a case where there's one school and some rest of the list. Let me change the line breaking so it's like that. We do beside slash align bottom of some complicated thing having to do with the school and then the result of the natural recursion. Okay, well, beside slash align bottom seems like the combination. So that's the combination. That's the natural recursion. So this whole complicated thing here, we got to get that in here. Now, watch this. This is the consequence of the reference rule. This is what it means for something to be a natural helper. When you're working on a function like this, and you see that you have to do something complicated with the school, you have to do something complicated with the referred to type. Remember, LOS refers to school. List of school refers to school. And here I have to do something complicated with a school. When you've got this natural helper in the template, it's telling you don't do it here. Do it elsewhere. Make somebody else do it. Punt. M wait. What it's telling you is make a wish. So instead of trying to do the whole school thing here, I'm just going to make a wish. I'm going to say, I wish there was a function called make bar that consumed a school and produced a single bar. I just wish that function existed. And just as we have before, whenever we wish for a function, right now is when I write the wish list entry. So let's see, I'm handing it a school because first LOS produces a school. So it gets a school, it has to produce an image, it has to produce the bar for a single school in the bar chart. And the stub, oh it's, it's a wish list, so we'll put bang bang bang, and the stub is define make bar s, and then the stub for a function that produces an image will say square zero solid, white. And now I've wished for it. And I can run the test for chart right now. Now they're going to fail. Okay, They're going to fail because the actual values are this. The actual values have nothing in them because make bar keeps making these blank images. But in some very real sense now chart is done, or at least chart looks like it's done. If only we had make bar, then chart would probably run unless there's some mistakes in it. 
What happened here is I wished for what's called a helper function. And the reason I did that goes back to that picture we saw about the type comments for these types and the templates. Right here in this type comment, there's a reference. And the reference produces a natural helper in the template. And what that meant was when we got here, I'll back it up a second. We got here and we were thinking about doing this complicated stuff for the individual school, but the template was saying fun for school. And what fun for school says to us is it says no, no, no. If what you have to do with school is complicated, don't do it here. Wish for it. And that's why we decided to wish for it. Now what's the actual rule for complicated? You should go check the recipe pages for the reference rule for this. But the basic rule is if you have to call more than one function that operates on school, make a helper. So if it turned out that all you needed to do here, for example, was call a selector on school, you wouldn't need to make a new function. If it turns out that the new function you need already exists, then you don't need to make another one. You could call a function that already exists. But the idea here is that whenever I see fun for school in the template, I want to see a single call to a function that consumes school. Let's just finish this up now. We're almost done. Let's see, make bar, check expect, make bar. Now, all this work I did up here to figure out exactly what I want to see for an individual school, I'm allowed to reuse that work now. Okay. I'm allowed to do this and say I know what I want that to look like. I figured it out before. I want it to look like this. So there's a single check expect. I only need one. Let me go get the template for school. I'll come in out the stub. I'll rename this function. And I got to do this whole complicated thing. Overlay align of center, bottom, and then rotate 90, and then the text of the school name, there's where the school name comes in for S1, font size, font color, that's the name, and then let's see what else do we got. We've got a rectangle, whoops, not the capital rectangle, rectangle of the bar width and times the tuition, whatever the tuition is, the Y scale. And that rectangle is outline black. And there's another rectangle which is the same size but it's solid and bar color. Let's try that. All four tests pass. All four tests pass. Let me show it to you down here just so you really see it. If I say chart of LOS1, I get blank because that's the base case. But if I say chart of LOS2, I get that little chart. So two things about this example really important to see. One we've seen before but it's always worth remembering which is when we were doing the examples it might have seemed to you when are we going to get there, when are we going to get there, when are we going to get there. But notice how at the end it all happened really fast. That's because we spent so much time figuring out what we really really wanted when we were doing the examples. 
So that's an old point. We've seen that point before. The new point has to do with the reference relationship in these types. Because these types have a reference relationship in them, the template for list of school has a natural helper in it. And what that meant was that we were sitting right here trying to figure out how to do this complicated thing with a single school. The template was staring us in the face saying, fun for school, which means don't do the complicated thing here. Do it in a helper. So we wished for the helper, then we designed the helper, and we were all done. What we've seen in this example is something that's really critical to good software design, which is that the structure of the information flows all the way through to the structure of the functions in the program. What we saw at the beginning was that we decided the structure of the information was naturally information about schools and information about an arbitrary number of those schools. And what that did was it put a reference relationship in the type comment. And that reference relationship in the type comment led to a natural helper in the templates, which led to a helper function call in the actual functions. So it's really key here. Designing data is actually making important decisions about the design of functions. And we're going to see that again and again in the next few weeks of the course.